tomorrow you will be having a quiz on volume and surface area. These will be examples of the different types of questions that you will have to answer. So the first question will ask you to complete the net for each prism by drawing the top face on grid paper. Now I will let you know there will be two different questions. I've only given you one example, but there will be two examples of this. So, they'll ask you to complete the net for each prism by drawing the top face on grid paper. So they will have given you a three-dimensional prism like this one with the different measurements. So we have a triangular prism, and so they've told us the three sides of the triangle and the height of the prism itself. Now, on grid paper, they will have given you most of the sides, but one will be missing. So in this example, they will label it for you bottom, right, front, and left. So which face are we missing? We are missing the top face, which we could think of as this top triangle right here. Now, our top face needs to have one side that is five centimeters, one side that is three, and one side that is four. I am going to show you a secret. There are three ways to get this question correct. Because you could either attach the top face to the left, which means that you would make a triangle that connects to both of those corners. So when it folds, it will go perfectly on top of the bottom. You could also have a top face that you could also have a top face that comes off the bottom and makes a mirror image from across the front or you could have a top face that makes a mirror image across the right. Now they will give you a really nice grid, so it will be very easy for you to follow it and make sure you are going the right number of spaces. But these are three different options. You don't need to include all three, you just need to choose one of them. Question two will ask you to find the surface area of the prism in question one and include the unit. So once again, there were two examples in question one. There'll be two examples in question two, a part A and B, where you do this for each of the prisms. So if we look at the left face here, it might be a little bit hard for us to see, but it has a length of five and a height of one. So what would the area of the left side be? It would be five centimeters squared. Now, the front side is four by one. So what would the area of the front side be? it would be four centimeters squared. Now I know I haven't gone in order, so you just have to make sure that you fill in the right pieces. The right side is three by one. So what would the area be? So the right would be three centimeters squared. Now the bottom and top face are going to be the trickiest. It is on grid paper, so I'm just gonna re-show it here and let you know that the bottom is four centimeters and the side is three centimeters. So how would I go about figuring out the area of this triangle? So to find the area of a triangle, we multiply the bottom and the side. So four times 12, and this should only be a two on the bottom, divided by two equals six. So this is six centimeters squared. And will the top be the same? Yes. So it's also six centimeters squared. Now, some of you may be going, well, if this side's five centimeters, can't I use that to multiply? But the problem is, if we were to use that, we would have to use this as the base, which means the height 
would actually be a line going to the tallest point perpendicular from the base. So that's why we don't use the five, right? We use the four and the three because it gives us a base and it gives us a perpendicular straight line up to give us the total height. So these are the numbers that we are dealing with. Now, what would the total surface area be? So it would be 24 and our unit doesn't change centimeters squared. So remember there's two examples for question one and for question two because they are connected to each other. It is Question three, there's only one example, and they'll ask you how many of each type of face would you need to make the prism? So, how many triangles would I need to make this prism? I would need two. And how many rectangles would I need? I would need three. And the easy way to check for this is however many sides your base has is the same number of rectangles that you will need. So you can remember the sides of the base equals the number of rectangles. Finally, the last type of question before we get to the bonus asks you to find the surface area and volume of the prism and include the units. So. What would my first step be for finding the surface area? So to find the surface area, we need to find the front, the right, and the top. So to find the front, we'd multiply 7, which is the distance across here, and 3, which is the distance going up and down, which gives us 21 centimeters squared. To find the right side, we would multiply 5 times 3, so that's going up and down, which gives us 15 centimeters squared. To find the top, we would multiply 5 times 7, so we'd have the 5 on this side and the 7 across the front, which gives us 35 centimeters squared. So now I'm going to I am muted. What do we need to do now? So now we need to double it. So 71 plus 71, which gives us 142. So the surface area is 142 centimeters squared. If you chose to instead figure out front, right, top, and then left, back, bottom, and add all of those together, you should still get the same answer. Okay, there's two ways to approach it. How would I find the volume of this rectangular prism? So to find the volume, it's the area of the base times height. So to find the area of the base, we need to do 7 times 5, and then multiply that by the height, which is 3. So that's 35 times 3, which gives us 105. So my volume is 105 centimeters cubed because it is volume. So always check surface area is squared, volume is cubed.